Keith K here, yeah. knocking on doors, and this is an old house. I don't have any detail on you. I uh, forgot to ask the guy. <laughs> we just said, can we hunt? He said, knock yourself out. And uh, we're starting to knock it out. Let's get over here to Dr. Zed. He's smiling. <laughs> so, Dr. Zed is on top of a barber dime. 19 what? 1907. 1907. And tell me about that. Nice shape. Beautiful. 43 at 6 inches. You're all right, Dr. Thanks, buddy. Wait, you, you got something else in the in the last part. In the last part. You want to see that, too? Sure, bring it all up. While we're here. While we're here. Got a Rosie, 54 Rosie, an S war nickel. I don't know the year. It's kind of... Yeah. I don't have to clean that up when I get home. And I don't know, a, a handful of wheats. Some little, I don't know, yeah, thing. You're, you're knocking it out of the park. Not doing too bad. With us today, the Oklahoma kid. <laughs> I had him in a video last year, people. He comes by once a year. He got, he's back in PA on some vacation. And we come down to his uh, neck of the woods. Steve, how are you? Doing real good. <laughs> yeah, I guess you are. Your first good I dig. I for the trip. First large scent. And I managed it. This is the first, first large scent you've ever, ever had? Ever. Awesome. Flip it over. You can kind of see the awesome. one scent in the middle. Yeah. Any chance you saw a date on that? You know what? I can see numbers on it, but I can't get a read yet. Okay. Take a look. I've got a map. We're going to see if we can clean it up a little bit, but that's an indication of the place we're at. And uh, Steve is my meteorologist friend out in Oklahoma. <laughs> he made it He made it quit raining when he got here in Pitts, Pittsburgh. And uh, when he leaves, he's probably going to turn the faucet back on. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> Keith K here. I finally get a screamer. That I was hoping for a dollar or something, but uh, that's got to be, <laughs> that's a piece of bling there. Beautiful, beautiful band, and it was only a couple inches done, so maybe lost a year or two ago, and uh, listen, it's all so pretty, but it ain't silver. I got to find some silver. I got to catch up. Stand by. Keith K here, another permission. I sure hope I get something here. For some reason, um, I'm pulling out a lot of, lot of iron, a lot of knick-knack brack, anything, uh, anything that really gives a beep. This house is 1867, and uh, we should find something. Let's hope. I just want to say. I'm without my own coils. I had to send both the 17 and the stock coil back to mine lab. They were cutting um, and rubbing on the shaft. I hope to get my new coil soon. Oh, please, I don't want to use this 17 anymore. It's killing me. So damn heavy. Stand by. On a tailgate wrap up at the end of the day from knocking on doors. A couple of guys had a really good day. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the Oklahoma kid. He got that big largey. We seen him get that, and then he comes back and gets a Merck, gets a Roosevelt, gets a Washington, and a few wheats. Any in Indians in there, Steve? No, no Indians. Just sir. wheats. Yeah. Excellent digs, my friend. Thank you, sir. Of course, my friend Mike. He knocked it out of the park again himself. <laughs> Sucker. Washington. No. Roosevelt. Roosevelt. War Nickel and Barber. And a whole bunch of ugly stuff. Probably all wheats. Yeah. It's all Mike Diggs' is wheats. Not all. Anyhow, Keith, do you want to talk about yours? Oh, I don't think so. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by. Keith K here. I'm home from the hunt. Listen, uh, I have nothing to say. I didn't really have a good hunt today. I dug an awful lot of trash. And that big coil, oh man, I just don't like it. I can't seem to pinpoint with it. And um, when it gets in a trash area, boy, it picks it up very strong. And there you are digging uh, a lot of things that you shouldn't really even be digging. 
um, the other coil uh, makes it a little bit easier. But anyhow, from what I did dig, I made the dollar menu. That's a happy day. And uh, <laughs> what else? A couple of wheats. Um, a lot of jack matter. Here's a buckle. I don't know how old that buckle is. <laughs> maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It's a piece of lead there at the bottom. Uh, some sort of a gear. A shotgun head stamp. Looks like a Remington something. Cinnamon. I think that's what it says. Cinnamon. And really just <laughs> just crazy stuff. Got a token today. I was happy with that. And got a square nail. A couple of square nails. We were at some great property. Uh, the other guys did well. I, I'm glad that they did. Um, my friend Steve, uh, the guy's from Oklahoma, he's with the National uh, Weather, <laughs> the National Weather people out there in Oklahoma, and uh, you know what, I'd like to go on it, uh, into his job site someday and just watch him work, forecasting where the next hurricane or tornado or all that other good stuff. But anyhow, uh, Steve was home for the uh, for the holiday to see his parents, brought his family, and uh, when he does that, he gets a chance to go hunting, and uh, he gave me another call. Hey, I'm glad he did. Anyhow, we had a great hunt, and uh, Mike uh, did very well again. So Mike always does well, and my coils. It was my bad, people. I um, <laughs> I had my shaft on my CTX turned backwards, and I strung the coil through the shaft, and because it was turned backwards, it ended up cutting my coils and uh, rubbing on the coil, wiring and limiting what I can do. Uh, Mine Lab uh, <clears throat> sent me my repair um, I think they're two new coils and trust me it won't happen again <laughs> I was just so dumb and uh, that's what this hunt was for me today dumb <laughs> I was just digging everything listen stand by and uh, thanks for watching detecting the bear